uh, for example, he mentioned that uh, this was right up the alley of PRTTs, the provisioning of uh, CCTV cameras in all parts of, uh, the, of the city of Manila, and for us to provision as well the, your operations center in the city hall and the center for the which is falling into a state of disrepair. So, there, if there's something we can do in that regard, our people will be more than willing to, to help out. You did say as well about your concern about, uh, I think, uh, Judas, uh, outside the, uh, the ambit of the law. We have actually been an active supporter of Judas in jail. Uh, we have been working with uh, the other school, uh, we believe with the sub. Uh, just, uh, Brother of Gus Bouguer has, has built the first uh, uh, rehab center for juveniles in jail in Bacola. We supported that. And we supported the bigger one in Las Marinas, the South Las Marinas, which is important that, that their space is beside the school so that the, the kids can continue, can continue to educate themselves. So, again, um, there, we, there are other things we can do. For you and for the city, more than we need to do that. Uh, we're committed to building connectivity, providing the technical solutions, the digital solutions. That's why, that's why David is here. That's it from, from here. So, thank you so much. And um, one of the topics we talked about was whether we could find a space to relocate the headquarters in your good city. Yes. <laughs> You think City Hall might be a good space. <laughs> so, so yeah. Uh, yeah, the last thing I might say is about your fountain. Okay, we'll do it. I got, I'll get Metro Pacific to do it for you.
It's like what, if I may borrow uh, Abraham Lincoln's uh, statement, all men are created equal. And it was proven now in Manila. Nagbabago na rin ang mood. The first woman vice mayor of the city of Manila, Vice Mayor Manny When I was then a vice mayor, I opted to choose and lobby before the city council to make uh, councillor uh, then Lacuna to head the council. So she was also the first woman uh, majority floor leader. Kaya siguro na na dumating na ang panahon ng mga tao rin ay uh, nagbabago na rin. And uh, in advance, uh, that's going to be June 24 of next year. The Awan Jos, this is in passing, lang, no? uh, kasi may ginang nabisyon ko kayo. Kayo balugut namin inimitahan sa darating o oh, the Awan Jos pinakamalaking Pride March sa buong bansa sa pag-celebrate ng araw ng Manila next year. So you are all invited. If you don't have any issues with preference, you are welcome to the city of Manila because we don't have one. <laughs> so ayun po ay uh, malukot namin. Pinagpapauna. Uh, Inaanyaya. So muli ngayong umaga sa ating mga kababayan ay ating pong uh, in behalf of the city and the people of Manila, maraming maraming salamat mga uh, Mr. Pangilina. Sampu ng iyong mga kasama sa iyong uh, kumpanyang tinatanganan. Kay, kayo'y uh, nakatutuwa at tumugon sa aming panawagan. Sampu ng aming mga kasama rin dito sa mga kawani ng city government na yung aming paghingi ng tulog. Kaya po ngayong araw na ito eh, kinalulugod namin sapagkat kanina ang pinag-uusapong pa lang natin, internet pa lang, akalain mo nakagalit ako ng paunti. <laughs> Nagot ka, Mr. Pangilina. Tama yung sinabi mo. O, marami ka ngayong imbitasyon na makukuha sa mga local government. <laughs> Ay, Mr. Pangilina has a story behind it. Uh, I, I, I would think that uh, uh, Manila is very special to Mr. Pangilinan. Because Mr. Pangilinan is Batam Manila. You can ask him later on. I was told, I am not the authority to say it, but I know for a fact that he's from Manila. So, natutuwa kami na yung mga tao na namahay, lumaki, at naging bahagi nila ang buhay nila ay ang lungsod ng Maynila at nawalay at naglakihan sa katagumpayan ng kanilang mga uh, kanilang uh, field of undertaking ay now, ay ngayon ay bumabalik upang tulungan ang komunidad na bahagi ng kanyang buhay. Sana marami pang Mr. Pangilinan sa top 500 ng Forbes. <laughs> Opo, sapagkat na, alam po ninyo, ang pulubing hindi nakakapamil. I know how it feels. Kaya any help will do. This not for me. This is not for me. This is for the people of Manila. When we start giving back their roads, when they start giving back their parts, when they start giving back what they should have in the city of Manila for the past 30 days and 7 days of this year in our administration. So, kami po ay sana matalas talas. Dami pa, Sorry, huh? You are invited. <laughs> <laughs> eh, sana po talaga uh, sa ating pamilya.
ang mga manunod kung hindi man kabigatan sa inyo eh, sana po eh, tulungan nyo po talaga kami kailangan ka lang no, ang maganda lang ngayon Mr. Pangilinan kung meron kami may pagmamalaki sa inyo na bilang isang mga bahagi ng negosyo sa ating basa ang ating pong pangulo ng basa nagsaat ng polisiya sabi dapat yung mga business business permit niya ang panawagan ng Pangulo that to apply the ease of doing business in all 1,600 plus local government units in, units in the country. Awan ng Diyos, uh, Kaya Tony Paul, uh, ang head ng licensing division of the city of Manila and uh, uh, Director uh, Levy Papundo came up with an idea and we launched it uh, witnessed by Secretary uh, Lopez that if the President, for that matter, is asking at the very least three days, kailangan may permit na. So, ang Manila po, dati-dati last month, no, two months ago, uh, dati 11 steps in eight windows, ang Manila po, three steps in one window. Dati-dati, kapag nag-apply ka ng business permit, ang Manila, five to ten days. Misal, hindi ko ang mabuwa. Nag-operate ka na, ang sabi ko nila na, to follow. Now, Manila, we challenge each and every investors or businesses and entrepreneurs. Go back to Manila and test our capacity to the maximum. That in Manila today, when you find your business permit as new business, you will have it in one day. Yan ay isang kaparaanan sa pagtugon sa panawagan ng Pangulo ng Bansa. Hamong ibinigay sa atin ni Pangulong Duterte. At bilang kapitbahay, bilang bahagi ng local government unit, at bilang kapitoy, mano bang dito na rin masimulan ang hinahangad niyang pagbabago at hinahangad namin pagbabago. So, kayo po sa inyo, sa lahat, uh, sa uh, Metro Pacific Incorporated Group, uh, sumayin nyo ang takuspusong pasasalamat ng aming mga kababayan sa lungsod ng Maynila sa tulong na ipinagkaloob nyo sa amin. At Awan Diyos. Ito ang garantiya namin sa inyo. Pagbubutihan po namin. Talaga po sa maliit namin kaparanan, yung inaasahan ninyo, I hope, sa awan na Diyos matugunan namin, maabot namin ng inyong mga expectations. We will try to live as if para kaming makina ng kotse. And if I may borrow my, uh, you know, yung sinasabi lagi ang aking uh, late mentor, Kuya uh, Jones, sabi nga niya, walang tulugan. <laughs> Because I think we cannot afford to lose time. We may lose money, like you in the business can gain back money if we lose time and I believe personally the most valuable commodity if, if, kung pwede tawagin commodity the most valuable commodity in this world is time and we've lost that two decades of opportunity when I say two decades it's literal because 18 years ago or 20 years ago there's no such thing as small location entertainment city in Pasay, Paranaque, the south of Manila. There is no such thing as Trinoma. In Quezon City, UP Technoha, MRT2, MRT3. There is no such thing as uh, Capitol Commons in Capitolio Pasig. There is no such thing as Tagui. There is Tagui City, but there is no PGC. So these things, ito ang napagkait sa amin. Because we did not move, we did not dream, we did not envision, we did not give directions, offer directions, or at the very least, aspire for a better life. But be 
Bibigat na sitme, ay maaaring sila'y matatayo ang kanilang mga gusali. Magaganda, ama naman. Pero they cannot take away the character of the city of Manila. Yun ang yaman ng lugsod na Manila. hindi man kalabisan kung kababaan lo ako'y patuloy na nakikisuyo ako'y patuloy na nakikiusap na wa sana'y tulungan niyo po kami hindi namin po ito kakayanin ng kami-kami lamang kailangan ko po ng maraming tulong sabagkat nakalulukot man ang sitwasyon ng Maynila kailangan po nating pagkaisaan na muli may bali. Yung mga bagay na nasabi na ng tatay natin nung araw, Pearl of Doria, Paris of Tingis, those days were gone. And then, we have now an opportunity to get all of us. Pawin natin ang tayo ng muso. At tingin ko, mas mabuti kung kasama namin kayo. At itong araw rin na ginawa ninyo, Mr. Pangilinan, ito ang araw ng patunay na kapag ang tao ay nagkakaisa, mamamayan, negosyo at gobyerno, pamayanan, ay talagang magkakaroon na ng direksyon ang isang syudad, ang isang bansa. Maraming salamat. Pagpalainawa kayo ng Panginoon Diyos, Mr. Pangilinan, sa punang iyong mga kasama, Bigyan sana kayo ng malusog na pangangatawan. Diyan man lamang masuklihan namin ang bagay na ibinigay niyo sa amin. Ilasama namin kayo sa aming mga panalangin. Sana, papagtagumpan ninyo, papagtagumpayan ninyo ang inyong mga hamong kakarapin pa. Tingin sa lahat. Damihan niyo pa. Umulit po kayo. Gandang araw po. At palain na lang kayo. Hold on to your pen.
signatories of these rights. Proceeded is protocol day one for the handshake seal.
Okay, thank you very much, Mayor. Uh, at this point in time, good morning, everyone. We would like to give uh, the members of the team here an opportunity to pose some quick questions to, uh, to the transport who are here at the end table. So uh, I'd just like to request uh, the members of the team to ask a question. To please raise your hands. Uh, we have a microphone here if you can provide any uh, questions. Please identify yourself as a Pakistani from the city of Hi, sir. Good morning. Katina Domingo from ABS CBN News. For smart communication officials, mm -hmm. why did you prioritize these six locations in the capital city and which other and where do you plan to move forward? Thank you. government in choosing which particular areas and um, these are in, in general what we want is where we are able to help the most um, the public most so these are the high food traffic areas um, that we actually choose so initially it's just the six sites but we intend to roll out a few more in close coordination again with the local government about this as a Manila. Right? Oh, well, uh, after the signing of the uh, agreement or assistance given to us by uh, uh, GLDT Smart, you know, I would assume that the donation will come from uh, one of the uh, sub uh, subsidiary company, uh, and in this case, I would, uh, the water or the utility company under the uh, But I don't know. What happened in less than two minutes, uh, in between, I don't know, but Mr. Pangilina said, ah, uh, to ito, alika. Huwag na yan. Personal money ko na lang ang pampapagawa ng pampain. Ano ang effect ko nun? Oh, here we are. You know, it is a personal money coming from Mr. Pangilina a private individual, all we have to do is to start building and digging. Uh, no? And uh, the people of Manila you know, uh, receive it, uh, feel it, there's something new in uh, Andres Bonifacio. And this is our drive and policy with regard to protecting, keeping clean our heritage. And in fact, hindi namin binubuhat ang bangko namin, binago namin yung aming uh, direksyon sa pagpapatayo ng city hall. Mas pinahalagahan namin yung open green space than our proposed office. Building up ang yung city hall. Kami na ngayon na mag-a-adjust. Kaya napapaganda lang kasi mukhang things are falling into right places. Kaya marami Ito, hindi lang sa MPI, hindi lang sa kumpanya. Kaya, ito, pera na ni Mr. Pangilinan. <coughs> <coughs> Sir, hindi kami tumatangdi. <laughs> but I'm happy. It, it, is, it is in a better situation. Mas mapapagalas. So, yun ang ano. Kaya kami, trabaho na lang namin. Tumanggap, yasis sila. Okay. Wala na ibang dapat. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. 
Good morning po, I'm Greg Lindoro from TV5. To Mayor Isko Moreno po. Uh, so, sir, um, sir, when you were Vice Mayor, you pushed for the provision of Wi-Fi services in the city. Now that you're Mayor, and with this partnership, how would this be vital in providing delivery, uh, or for how would this be vital in delivering services to our two Manila? Thank you. Yes, it's true. It's one of my uh, greatest dreams that, you know, uh, coping up with highly urbanized cities also uh, from the other countries. You know, in Korea alone, I've been receiving in my meter, bandwidth meter, about 27 Mbps in the streets of Korea. At the time, it was like four or five years ago. <coughs> and I think if they can do this, this is not a rocket science technology. So why not uh, build it in Manila? And when I was given an opportunity, that small opportunity, we did that already. This, this concept of what's going to happen next in the city of Manila. May proper concept na yan. In fact, uh, after putting a Wi-Fi uh, community in the likes of uh, uh, U-Belt in the south and U-Belt in the east, because we have two U-Belt, the south uh, of Manila, west-south, west and eastern part of the city, towards uh, Quezon City, the Gabinjola, Moraita, uh, doon namin nilagay yun. At ang naging epekto noon, yan ay yung magiging epekto, if you adapt in technology, adapt technology in governance, sumunod na, nakapagtayo kami ng cameras and CCTVs. Sumunod nun sana yung emergency assistance program that government will run 24 hours a day with regard to certain services that can be made, made available 24 hours a day particularly the peace and order situation and healthcare assistance program. Yun na sa akin, tatagos na yun eh. Pagkayari nun, ito na, business na. Integration of any form of technology to give ease with regard to, for example, payment of taxes, transaction in governments, regulatory peace, and so on and so forth. So, pag yung backbone is the communication. Having that in place, intact, stable, long term, wala na yan. Susunod na yan. Magpipishbone ka na lang. Doktong ka lang ng doktong. And you know, uh, unlike in the old days, uh, using copper, that's a limited capacity. But fiber, which are now being utilized also in other countries, they are ahead of us by 20 years. And now, uh, good that PLDT and SMART has these facilities. If and if can we or participate, private sector, government, I think the future of Manila will be unlimited with the help of this uh, so, yun ang greatest dream. Na even to the point while you're talking to you, you're just typing and you can pay your taxes uh, in your uh, fingertips. But you don't, I don't like 54,000 people will go here by January and we're going to deal with 100 square meter at 54,000 at, at uh, 8 hours a day, at 5 days a week, and you do your math in time in motion I'm not a businessman, but they use it in business. Yung time in motion. Uh, sige, kaya hindi magkataka na kung bakit, dalawang buwan na hindi pa tapos si Pedro, kakapagbabayad na lang na buwis. Uh, and it's gonna cost us money. Why? There will be 54,000 at, the, at the very least, about 10%. That's 5,000 cars. Will pass through this uh, 
corner of the city will add pollution and so on and so forth, traffic and so on and so forth. So I don't like them. It's not I don't like them. I don't like them or na-aaba na sila. Bakit? Eh, may teknolohiya. Eh, ba't hindi ata? Eh, kasi, you know, mas masarap yata tira ball pen. Ang tawag namin doon sa kalibola ni Gobeta. Doon kasi nagkakadiskrasyaan. But with technology being adapted in governance, you limit the possibility of discretion. And in discretion, if, if I remember my professor, Professor Hovitz uh, told me that you can never uh, solve corruption, and we were shocked. But sabi niya, may uh, katutong niya, sabi niya. But if you adapt technology and you limit discretion, naturally, corruption will die. So solving corruption without lifting a finger by adapting to technologies. So yan ang dream, goal, or uh, direction the city of Manila. Uh, may awad sa isa na. Anyway, all we have to do is dream. So, isa. But, uh, you know, yun yan, nabanggit ko na kanina, boss was implemented. Uh, business, one-stop shop. And ARTA law are being implemented, followed in the city government of Manila. Ease of doing business being implemented in the city of Manila. So, magkano na yan? Naturally. May, may awa ang Diyos. So, malaking bagay. At pakalaki. To cut the long story short, malaking bagay kapag ito ay in place na. Sa may nila. Unlimited na yung possibilities. Thank you again, Mayor. Uh, questions, please? Are there more questions? Good morning, Zian Ambrosia from ABS-CBN. Um, uh, Mayor, aside dun sa anim na lugar na nabanggit ninyo, ano po yung uh, next target ninyo na mga lugar? Meron pa po ba? Public places like parks and definitely schools. We have 104 schools. We have 60 plus health centers. Uh, our major facilities. You see, there's a reason behind it. There's food traffic. And especially itong uh, sa podli natin. Di ba nakita mo yan? Grabe. Talaga. Ang tawag nyo? Instagram ko. <laughs> eh, yun daw ang ano, millennial term. But you cannot Instagram without smart connection. Yes, uh, we will prioritize, as you can see, there are hospitals and health care, uh, educational institutions, and public parks. Because we have 47, we've dealt with already with in less than two months, uh, two parks already, and two heritage sites. We're going to go to another one, and another one day at a time. But before we go to another one, we fix, we maintain, and consistently address it. So, at least uh, in less than a month, two sites were protected already. So, important rin na kung meron doon, we can have pictures, selfies, small cases. Yes, yeah. Diba, last week po atay nakapag-meeting kayo sa PNA doon sa, na mag-create ng anti-cyber crime group dito sa Manila. Yes. Ano po ba ang maitutulong naman ito pagdating sa proyekto na yun? Well, to the criminals, to the bad elements, there is now what you call Bahay ni Puya in Manila. So, we need connectivity. We need strong, stable connection with regard to communication. These things and our applications, programs can run smoothly, then here we are creating a map or creating command center. So later on, um, Efecto, we're watching you. Damn. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
terms of peace and order. So I would rather uh, shoot him away. Although, we'll go after you uh, if you do it in Manila. But as much as possible, uh, we don't want to engage in a circumstances or may arise along the way, no? Na ayoko, medyo pangit ang resulta. Pero ito yung, kung may babala, may mga pamamaraan, papapaalala, magtataboy, that would be better for the city of Manila. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. At saka, Mayor, upo kayo sa akin. Any more questions, please? I just want to do a quick survey now. We're running out of time. How many more? Follow up now. One and two. Okay, so last two questions. Thank you very much. To uh, DLZ James Park President and CEO, Sir Rani Pangilinan. Uh, sir, ang nabanggit po ni Mayor Moreno kanina, his dream is to be at par with the technologies in other countries. Now, in providing this kind of service po sa Manila, what's, the, what's our dream in doing this? And are we already in talks with other local government units in providing the same? Thank you for your question. The answer is yes. No? Uh, we're mainly in the business of uh, providing the, the digital infrastructure to our people and to to the government, whether it's national government or the, or the local governments. And one of the major elements of this infrastructure build, uh, the PLT has been engaged with, is, is the uh, is the promotion of smart cities. So I think to the point. Uh, to the question earlier raised uh, is that we actually would like to sit down with uh, uh, Mayor Moreno about how we can digitalize the processes here in, here in City Hall. No? In fact, it's certain given the space that we are very paper oriented. No? And because uh, part of the issue relates to, to cybersecurity because if you digitalize then you're able to protect your records. It's not so much because you want to, to digitalize for the sake of digitalizing. It is because you want to protect the citizens' records. Because anybody, if it's if it's uh, if it's a if these are paper documents. Pag nasuno dito hari naman mo hindi. Hindi naman mayar pero pag nasuno mo may nagyari sa papeles na mawala yun. So if you digitalize and then protects uh, the citizens' records. The tax records, everything else that relates to, to revenue on the revenue side and to the identity of the citizens. I think that's very important to to the to any city administration. So we'd like to do that and build the relevant infrastructure connectivity that the government the city of Manila, Manila needs and of course the people of Manila. Sir, I think Mr. Panini wants to add a few words. Hi, good morning. I no, just wanted to add to the points of uh, MVP. I think um, it is uh, a template uh, for other MGUs, and I think uh, writing down some notes that the uh, mayor was saying, you know, access, emergency services, ease of doing business, I think there are ways that we can we can improve that. On top of that, if you do have um, a smart city to the definition of MVP, and you do need uh, infrastructure to do that, you can also monitor uh, security through CCTV, traffic management. Uh, a lot of this is already capable, is already available. No? You can even look into um, smart uh, um, uh, street lighting. You can monitor those things also so that hindi rin kayo nagsasayo. Gali ako meralit before, hindi kasi nga ng oriente kung may araw na pwede siyang patayin. No? And you can also monitor these things. I think technology analytics, can work for the city, um, for, for mayor. And again, I was telling the team, this is really a template for other LGUs to follow uh, and really uh, give, give solutions, uh, not only to, 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 for, for us to offer solutions, but really for your uh, citizens in Manila and citizens across other LGUs. Uh, at the end of the day, I think we want to serve your, your uh, I guess, constituents better. Kami naman po eh, kung smart city ng branded na smart na eh. So, we can help you. We can help you do that. Yeah. Yung yung commercial yung pubos kaya kita namin. Dalawa ng namin niya. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Patricio. One more question. Yes, please. Sir, for smart. 
Surfer Smart, Google expanded its Wi-Fi stations uh, around 400 units last month. By how many How many more do you intend to add in the following months and what's the timeline? In Manila and in other parts of the Philippines. I think Ina will have to answer that. Yes. Okay, thank you for the question. Currently, Google Station is in over 400 um, sites already, 400 hotspots, and our plan is to almost double it to about 800 by quarter three. So, but that's nationwide, so that covers some um, other areas. In Manila? In Manila, I don't have the actual figures. I can get back to the specifics. But we already have a lot of sites in, in Manila. So, I will just get back to you on the details. Okay, including the port area is covered. Thank you. Okay, last chance for any more questions. Okay, in that case, thank you very much. Let's please give a hand to our... Another question that concludes our program. Thank you all for joining us in this momentous occasion. No, um, our snacks is now served. Our buffet station is now open. Please help yourself. Thank you.